All right. Hello there. Welcome to 30 Minute Outlanders. I got the demo download of Outlanders. First I've seen of it. Claims to be a popular upcoming game. A city builder where you supply specific people with things that you hope will help them reach their dreams and then watch as they do so. I have no idea. I, I'm, I'm summarizing my take on what the thing told me. Let's go find out together. The heck is this thing? Campaigns, tutorials, sandbox, settings, credits, downloadable content, and just a thing that says play. I'm just going to push a thing that says play. And we got here Fjorda, who's a natural leader. Her confident attitude has won her a few fans for whom she works tirelessly, even if it means putting her personal life aside. Here on Tudor Isle, we have one mission to begin with, which is ex to explore Tudor Isle to learn the basics of building a town. Let's play. Farming becomes way more efficient than foraging for larger populations. Now, I can see how that would be true. So here we're zooming in on a low res, but pretty town. I can see some folks are running around. I see some instructions about scrolling the camera using WASD. Or just with the button, too. And that's pretty much it. I can I can move around just these directions, it looks like. No other rotational tools or anything right now, but just moving around. Okay, now it says I can rotate the camera. Well, there we go. So we can rotate this way and that. That's nice. Now we can zoom in using any Audi. Okay, and that's nice. We can zoom around, we can turn around, and we can zoom. Uh, looks like there's some mushrooms, some trees, not much else going on in this town. Some, some people want to talk to me. The leader's job is to keep their followers happy. I can click on any of these leaders or followers to see how they're doing, I guess. Okay, I, I guess I'm the leader. Well, we got Paul here. He's 31 years old. Likes to rock out with his socks out. And is currently farming trees. So I'm going to take that as Paul likes to do laundry. Oh, we're in it. Well, we're just going straight to dealing with shelters. I was hoping we could see people's other people's wants and desires, but... I guess we just get to see one. Okay, I've paused. Just wanted to click on some people, but it let me click on one, Paul. We don't get to find out about the other people. And I'm kind of sad about that. The only thing I can be doing now is building. But this is a demo, so... Hmm. Let's just go ahead and do it. Looks like there's roads that... Take one horse shit. <laughs> one HS. But we're not doing that right now. We're building a modest house which requires 15 horse shits. Or 15 house sitters. Or 15 home shadows. And can have four whole people chilling up in there with six batteries we've got six batteries three people not enough space I just want to sit right here by whatever this is and that's where I want to live I'm just going to hit a check mark I'm sure I'm sure you're going to do this right away now let's take care of the food situation Look for a building called the Forager's Hut. Well, I think I found it. I think it's right here. Uh-huh. This building lets me assign followers to gather mushrooms. Okay, so I guess I can assign people. 
Who do I sign though? Just anyone? Seems like there's no one here available to work. It's gonna remain open until we remove a worker from another job. So we gotta select one of these other buildings and remove a worker. Okay, let's do it. Just one moment. I wanna start my timer. Select this building, we've got two people, Tyron and Paul, at the tree nursery, where we're getting plus one tree, or something. We can remove workers. I want to look at this worker. Tyron has amazingly vivid dreams. Okay, it's good to know. And Paul is the one who wants to rock out with the socks out now. Neither one of these seem to be the type of thing that would want to gather mushrooms, but I'm going to just go ahead and put Tyron on the deal. Just because, you know, now Tyron's there. And that's what we wanted. Um, very cool thing is a lumberjack's cabin. And we're just going to recycle it because there's nothing to cut down to this lumberjack building. For some reason it was put here, but there's no reason to have put it here. We're going to lose the thing and gain the thing. Are you sure you want to lose the thing and gain the thing? Yeah, man. Let's do it. Okay. Well, those people are super happy. Everyone seems real chill gonna jump over here to the other side of the island and take a look at someone dancing oh well that's it that's Tudor Island so let's keep going and once again we have a tip about farming Sh wait shipwrecked there's a storm on the horizon we got 30 days to make 40 planks to build a new ship we probably should make sure everyone's housed Turn logs into planks. It's as exciting as it sounds. Oh, those are logs, not batteries. Okay. I'm going to pause. Take a look at what we got. We got two followers without a home. Herman, who's seven years old and his favorite insult is fart head, is having a blast. I don't know. That's not a lot to know about Herman. And William, who's seven years old and thinks soup is not food, is also having a blast. These people are great. Three people who are unemployed include Henrik, who does a great impression of the leader. All right, well, that's something to know. Jorg, who is uh, got dashing good looks and is a chick magnet. All right, well, that's weird. Kind of having some sort of sudden realization. And Erland, who is losing hair, but it's okay with that, also having a sudden realization. And they all got pretty good amounts of food. All that kind of stuff. Check out our information. Housing tip. There's nowhere places to live. Yeah. Okay. Heard about that. So we got... What is this saying? Housed is eight people. Unhoused is four. Why not? It's not telling me anything here. It just has the symbol without any explanation, but all right. This is our progress. We've got 80% housed. So six, four, eight. I don't know what's going on. Four children, six humans, eight, eight, how? Yeah, all right. Um, we got some filters, which is the normal game view, the chill game view, okay. Tactical game view, okay, yeah. So now we take a look at all those things. Alright, so over here, we've got the building that needs all the planks. Ah, uh, understood. That's the boat that I'm trying to build. We have 11 of food and 6 of log. 
Once again, the progress is the same as it was. And the buildings are a builder's house, which has the workers, the forager's hut, which is all about that gathering. Lean is here, who gives great advice in a riddle format. I thought there was something more interesting about these people's desires. Always grateful for the life she has. They're all digesting gossip. One home for Fjorda. Okay. Another forager's hut. Okay. A modest home with four people inside. A modest home with four people inside. Four people are housed. Oh, I see. Six adults, four children. Okay, I understand that now. This child knows some dirty words. Grateful for the life. It's very soft and soothing voice. Just follow her. Okay. Okay, very soft and soothing voice. Great advice in riddle format. Always grateful for the life she has. Brother is the bravest. Okay, this was the Luna, who knows the three different dirty words. Henrik's the great impression of the leader guy. Erlen already knows losing hair. And Jorg is a dashing chick magnet. Uh, the heck is this? Just wood, mushrooms, and tomatoes sitting on a piece of square. All right. Tree gathering huts. That's all we've got here. So I'm assuming what we want to do is build something. Okay, that was a stockpile. Two things we need to build. Houses. And I guess all the lumberjack nonsense. Alright, so straight up one house, six and fifteen. Lumberjack base. Gather wood, useful resource. Alright, so let's put a lumberjack base over in the middle of the trees. Yes. Good place to start with that. And here we go. Let's go back to the normal view. Or chill view for a little while and just see what happens. I guess we can also build a house while we're at it. You know, whatever. Do we, how do they turn? Do we turn the house? I don't really want to build it that direction. Let's see. What's the key for that? Ah, R seems to do it. Okay, got R to rotate them. Let's just watch for a little bit. Got a lumberjack base. Certainly one of the things needed to begin with. Let's just pause or go. Faster. One and two. Ooh, nice. Pretty. All right. Yeah, I like the use of light here. That's pretty cool. What's this person? Well, this Fjorda running around being a leader. I guess they Henrik is sleeping uh -huh, right. looks like morning time folks are out and about two speeds 
project okay everyone seems to be doing their thing ah, night will pass quickly on its own even at normal speed it looks like and there's that house and yep there's two little kids that live in that house Ooh, we got some cliffs here got in terms of stuff. Five stuff, nine food. There's a little notice when we finish these things. Oops. So we got two people unemployed. And let's build the next thing in the list of wood processing stuff. I guess a lumberjack's cabin. Unless it's something that does more. I see. Can we just upgrade? Hmm. So the lumberjack's cabin can cut more trees in one uh, from a different from a larger range. And that does appear useful. But it's now something I know. It takes wood to put together, so okay. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and accelerate this. Wait, why not? Hmm. Interesting. Not enough free space to build. Okay, so it needs to have the full circle. Let's just let that go. Still 10 people now with 12 places to live. I suppose one thing I can do is get a little bit more gathering. For now. There. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's like the George's house in there. Okay. All right, we're going to speed up. sounds while they build the home. I love the firefly effects. Small range of the torches is kind of nice touch. We're almost to this build. 92%. Problem here is that there's not enough wood. Oop. 
two babies are born. All right, one moment. <laughs> Franz is the is a baby. We got two Franz. Whose favorite insults are dicky farts. Alright, I can see this was written by a 12 year old. Go and recycle this place. Yeah. Henry can just go to work at this new place. along with one of these workers. And we're good to go. Got that wood back. Should be able to build the sawmill. not to put it there. Roads. Okay, next big thing to build is the hut. Make another builder. A sawmill. Plenty of food. Oh. Sometimes the foraging runs out of things to forage. Go check it out, Fjorda. How's everything doing? Two kids are adults. Which means there's some unemployed folks. Okay. Trees are being chopped. Sawmills built. And has at least one employee. And let's make that too. Let's just get that get that rolling and we do need more homes got two builders still all put together pretty quick there goes splitting those logs Thirteen citizens. About five minutes left in this initial demo episode. Two more kids are growing into adults. Well, let's cut down more trees. And shop more planks. gatherer though. Okay, when the builder's done building, we'll make that a gatherer. And the planks are adding up. Yeah, we need more gatherers. Okay. <clears throat> 
Built a new gathering hut, new location. Let things grow, I guess. Well, that's not great. We're running out of food. Get as many workers as we can going. This is not looking great. Gather the food. Come on. Twelve of the planks out of forty. Hungry followers. We finished the house. Let's get that gathering. Come on now. Yeah, I know I keep running out of food. Hurry up, build up, build the new gathering. There's another wood over, come on now. did we have again? <laughs> 17 more days. A lot of hungry followers, y'all. Not great. Almost there. Finish it up. All right. Gonna get the heck to work. One more building. Just, just gathering. We need gathering huts to kind of be scattered around. Oh boy, losing people. Hungry people, y'all. Alright, I got a ton of people foraging now. Y'all go find some food. Come on, come on. It grows back, but it takes a while. Alright. Alright, come on, people. Eat the food. Stop dying. Looks like my first uh, effort has proven a little difficult. And... I got the idea now. Gathering food diminishes the resources. You got to balance it around a little bit. Those apples are probably going to be useful. And that's 30 minutes. We'll see you next time.